G'day guys, as um as asked I guess. Uh this is just a quick tutorial on how to do variable length subnet masking. Um Yeah. So to start with, I'm just gonna use the example given for the uh VLSM subnetting quiz in computer networks and internets. Okay, so let's start. So how to subnet the network 132.132.254.0 slash twenty three. Okay, to start off we need to figure out what a slash 23 network is to get the decimal subnet mask for it, okay? So, slash 23 is, well, it equals these numbers, and I'll, I'll explain it to you. So, slash 23 equals 255.255.254.0. Now, how do we get that? Okay, so 23 is uh, related to the total number of network bits, okay? So, there's 32 in total. So it's 32 take away 23 basically, but the 23 adds up to these numbers down here. Now you've got to think of it as a binary number, okay? So each of these segments is called an octet, and in an octet there are 8 bits, and each one of those bits uh, accounts for a, a binary number. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, okay? So 8 plus 8 plus 7 is 23. Now what does it mean? It means there's 8 bits borrowed from the first octet, 8 bits borrowed from the second octet, 7 bits borrowed from the third octet, and 0 bits borrowed from the fourth octet. Okay, so here's the question, using those previous, you know, network and subnet, okay? So, the question is, subnet these hosts, or these LANs, with these number of hosts, okay? So, not that bad, um, it was pretty easy. So, the first thing you want to do is sort out your LANs in the number of highest amount of hosts to lowest amount of hosts, okay? So I've kind of just done that here quickly. I know you can't really read it, but I just wrote it down. So if you look here, we start with LAN 1, which is 125 hosts. Yep, that's correct. Uh, LAN 6 is 125 hosts. And then you go LAN 4, 5, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, okay? Purely by the number of hosts they have. Don't worry about the numbers, the, the, the LAN name number. Worry about the number of hosts they have, okay? So then we're going to come over here, okay? We're going to start with LAN number one. Okay, so LAN number one is 125 hosts, okay? So how do we get the network address, the starting address, the ending address, and the broadcast address for LAN number one? Well, this is what we're going to go through and, and show you. So to start with, our base details are as follows, 132.132.254.0 slash 23, which is .254.0, okay? So how do we fit, like where do we go from here? 125 hosts, where do we go, okay? So 125 hosts fits into the binary number of 128, okay? So what we're doing here is figuring out what short notation subnet mask we're going to use for the LAN 1 network, okay? So to start with, we just write down our binary numbers, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, okay? Now, LAN 1, which is 125 network, 125 hosts, fits into 128, okay? So what do we do from here? Well, we count, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? 8 minus 1 is 64, so, uh, or 7. Okay, but we land on 64. That, that doesn't matter. So 2 to the power of 7 equals 128, right? So we go total number of subnet bits take away the number of network bits that we need equals 25. That's how many bits we're going to use as the subnet, all right? So 125 hosts fits into a slash 25 network. But how does it make sense? Like, where am I getting these numbers from, okay? So remember before how I explained what all the, the binary numbers mean and whatnot. If you look up here, this is for a slash 23 network, but it, it kind of relates because it's the same method, okay? So for a slash 23, we have 8 bits plus 8 bits plus 7 bits plus 0 bits, okay? Which, down here, you can see what it equals. 8 bits equals 255, 8 bits equals 255, 7 bits equals 254, and zero bits equals zero bits, okay? So slash 23 is the total number of these that are borrowed, 
these bits that are borrowed. And that's the first octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. Okay. So let's relate that down here with our slash 25 network. Okay. So we're going to use <coughs> slash 25, which is 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1. Now, what does that mean in decimal form? It's 255.255.255.128. Okay. So let's figure out this, the network address, the start, the end, and the broadcast address for network number one. Okay. So start address is what we're given. 132.132.254.0. Okay. Network address. Add one to that for the starting address. So 132.132.254.1. Okay. The ending address is your broadcast address. Take away one. So how do we figure out the broadcast address? Well, if we look at a quick chart that I draw, drew up, you can see that 128, a slash 25 network, has 128 as the fourth octet. It also has 128 possible hosts okay, in that network. So what we do is we add 0, and we add 128, which gets us 127, which is the broadcast address. Take away 1, 126 is the, the end network address. Okay. And from here we can figure out LAN 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so it's pretty easy. LAN 2 is the same size, so we just repeat it. 132.132.254.128 is the network address. Dot .129 is the start address. Dot .254 is the end address. And dot .255 is the broadcast address. Okay, so for LAN 3, it has 55 hosts. Um, <clears throat> To get the 55 hosts, we need to fit those 55 hosts into a binary number, which the closest number would be 64, which is 2 to the power of 6 is 64. So you go 32 take away, two, uh, 32 take away 6 is, sla is 26, which is a slash 26 network, which looks like this, 255.255.255.192. Okay? So now because we've jumped over, um, we've used up the 254 network, we're going to jump over to 255. So the starting address for network uh, LAN 3 is 132.132.255.0. That's the network address, sorry. And then starting address is dot one because uh, we're in incrementing by 64 bits, okay? So uh, dot zero, dot one, and then ending address is dot 62, and the broadcast is dot 63, okay? And then for network number four, it's 55 hosts, so we just repeat it. 132.132.255.64 is the network address. Dot six five is the starting address. Dot uh, one two six is the end address, and dot one two seven is the broadcast address. Okay, number five is twenty two hosts. So, what we do to figure out twenty two hosts is um, twenty two fits into thirty two, which is two to the power of five. Okay, two to the power of five equals thirty two. Uh, thirty two, which is relating to the subnet bits, take away 5 for the network bits, is 27. So it means we have a slash 27 network, okay? And just relating to the octet kind of thing, what does it look like? Well, it's 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 3, which is 27, okay? So we're borrowing 3 bits from the fourth octet, which looks like 255, 255, 255, 224. Alright, now, so what we have to start that one off is 132, 132, 255.128, then the starting is 19.129, uh, ending is 158, and broadcast is 159. And 6 is the same, 22 addresses, sorry, 22 hosts, so 132.132.255.160 is network, 161 start, 190 end, 191 broadcast. Okay, and then 7, well, we only have two hosts, okay. Two total hosts. Um, what does it fit into? Two to the power of two is four. Okay, and now it's four total hosts, two usable hosts. So it's thirty-two take away two is a slash thirty network. It's two five five two five five two five five two five two. Um, so your network address is one nine two, starting address one nine three, ending address one nine four, and broadcast address one nine five. And it's the same for eight and nine as well. You're literally just going through because they're such small networks. You just add one to each, uh, yeah, increment. So network 96. Okay, so hopefully most of that made sense. Um, it cut out a little bit at the end there, but I'm just going to leave it because it was pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is explain how I get a few different numbers. Um, the one that confused me the most was this here. Uh, 
how to get the full decimal network uh, subnet address. Sorry, let me move that down. Sorry, um, the full network address from a slash notation. Um, so yeah, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to explain it hopefully in more detail. Um, if it doesn't make sense, I'm sorry, but this is the way I was taught. So let's see how we go. So let's say you're given... Um, well, let's even go a step further, and you need to figure out what that slash is to begin with, okay? Which we looked at here. We figured out what the slash was, and then we figured out what the total number was, but let's let's do it properly, okay? So we're given... I'll use an example from the previous. We're given 125 hosts. Okay? And we need to figure out how to get 125 hosts into a subnet. Okay? So 125 fits into the decimal number 128. Okay? So how do we get the number 128? Well, it's 2 to the power of 7, I believe. Yes, it is. 2 to the power of 7. Now, how do we get this 7? Well, we look at it like this. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Okay? So, let's count from this way back. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, it takes 8 steps to get to 128. Take away 1 equals 7. Oop. Equals 7. So, it's 8. You basically... Yeah. Anyway. So, 8 steps, take away 1, is 7, okay? And then 2 to the power of 7 equals 128. Okay, so that's how you get this number here. Now, what do we do with that 7? Well, we minus it from the subnet bits, okay? So, there's always 32 total subnet bits. You take away 7 from it, and this is how you work out your slash notation, okay? So, 32, take away 7, more 2, yeah, so you do that. 12 take away 7, it's 5, and then 2. So it's a slash 25 network, okay? That's how you work it out. So 32 take away 7, 25, which is a slash 25 network. Now, what does a slash 25 network look like, okay? Let's do it in its most basic form, which is purely just decimal numbers, okay? So you're basically looking at 25, um, 25 ones and 7 zeros, but I'll, I'll explain it to you. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, yep, that's correct. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this is what a slash 25 means, okay? You have your four octets of your IP address, okay? And slash 25 means there are 25 bits borrowed out of the total 32, okay? So we all know that up here, if, with the binary numbers, you have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, okay? Each one of these refers to one of these numbers, okay? So the 1 here refers to 1 there. The 1 there refers to 2, and the 1 right at the end equals 128, okay? So when you add all those ones together, it makes the number 255, okay? And then the same with the second octet, 255, same with the third, 255. Five. Now over here, this is the part that had me confused when I was initially learning it. Basically, you're only just adding the 128 at the end. So all of these, there's no value for them. Well, there is a value, but it's zero. So you can only see the one there, right? That one relates to the 128 up here. So it equals 128. So if you work that out, it's slash 25, a slash 25 network equals 255.255.255.128. Now, an easier way to think about this, instead of writing all the ones and zeros, is to just use the octets by themselves. So you can always work it out like this. So, 8, 8, 8, and 1, okay? Which equals 25. So, 8, 16, 24, 25. And you add them together, so that's why if you saw in another one, it was 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1 equals 25. That's just how to double check it, you know. You don't have to sit there in an exam writing all the 1s and zeros. 
you can just double check it with an 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1. Uh, and that'll work with any slash notation, short notation, whatever. Um, so that's how you go from having a number of host requirement, figuring out the decimal number it fits into, figuring out the decimal uh, position for it, I guess is the word. I wouldn't really use that as a technical term, but that's what I'm going to say. Um, so 2 to the power of 7, okay? 2 to the power of 7 equals 128, which is, you know, from the decimal numbers. Um, and then you have total subnet bits, take away the number of bits you need for the network. Uh, and then you're left with 25, which is your 25 uh, host bits. And then this is explained in the most basic way of four octets, pure binary numbers, uh, you know, and yeah. So I hope that makes sense. If not, I'm sorry. Um, maybe ask me a few more questions. We'll see how we go. Um, and I have three minutes left, so maybe I'll just quickly explain um, how I got the start, end, and all that. Okay. So basically, <clears throat> this network here, you have you increment also by that number. Okay. Um, mm, kind of, not really. Okay. So I'll explain it. What you do is you have your uh, 255.255.255.128 okay so let's say you don't have a cheat sheet and you want to work out how to increment your hosts for the next subnet okay so this is how you do it you basically go 256 take away whatever octet has the, the bits missing which in this case is the fourth octet so 150 100, uh, 256 take away 128 also equals 128, okay? So that's also your increment. So it means you start on dot zero, uh, you end on dot 127, and your next subnet, or your next network address, is dot 128, okay? And then, you know, you start on, oh, you finish on dot 255. And because in the previous example, we had 254, it means we pop over, right? And let's say we keep going, right? So 255 dot zero, Okay, so network and or well, broadcast, sorry, and then network broadcast. So two five five, which is your network, and then you end it on dot one twenty seven, which is your broadcast. Your next network start. You're just basically incrementing each time by one hundred and twenty eight. So your next network is one hundred and twenty eight, and your next broadcast is two fifty five. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, you do it basically with, with each network. So if this was a 64, you'd be incrementing by 64. So it'd be zero, um, broadcast would be 63. Okay, and then your next network would start on 64, and you know, as previous. So I hope that makes sense, guys. If not, again, just ask me some questions. Um, yeah, and good luck. That's the main thing. I hope everyone passes. All right, have fun.